So this is what we're making. It's uh, this doodle text thing. I don't know. It, it's like this hand-drawn, almost cartoony-ish style. It's kind of cool. You have some distortion effects. And you have some of this, like, uh, hand-drawn, like, seams. So let's get into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do, file, then go to new, and then we're going to go to 2D animation. I'm not going to save this one. And now once we're in here, we need to go into object mode because we're currently in draw mode, which is not what we want. So go into object mode up here. And then to add our text, we're going to shift A, add some text. We're going to rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees using Rx. And then we're going to go to our object data properties. We're going to go set center alignment for the horizontal and center alignment for vertical. Then we got some center text going. I'm going to go my camera view by hitting zero. And I'm going to scale this up. I think this is a little too small. So go to our font and we're going to turn up the size however you like. I think this is pretty good. Then I'm going to load the font because Arial sucks and we want something better. So, um, let's go wherever you have your fonts. I'm going to load in one of my default ones. Roboto seems fine. There we go. We got some text. So now to make this text do the things that we want it to do, we have to first convert to, you, you can open this menu by hitting F3 and say convert to curve. And then we can convert it to another F3, Grease Pencil. And technically, I think you can go straight to Grease Pencil, but sometimes I run into issues, so going to a curve sometimes fixes that. Anyways, it depends on your font face. If you have issues, use a different font. It might be too much. Um, now we need to go to Material Properties, and we're going to make a new material. And for this material, we're not going to set it to Stroke. We're going to set it to Fill. And we could see some things. Um, we can see a problem right here. Like, look at our E. It looks like garbage. I mean, we need to have the hole right there. I don't know why that isn't working. Uh, you can see we have some problems. This E doesn't have the hole in where it should. So let's fix that. We're going to add a new material. I'm just going to hit new right here. And I'm also going to set this to fill. But I'm going to set it to holdout. And what holdout does is essentially transparency. So what I can do is I can go to edit mode by hitting tab. And then I can click on this and I'll select it where I need to have it transparent. And then I can hit assign on this holdout material. And now it's now it's not filled. So that's kind of that's really cool. Um, I'm gonna change the color because completely black is kind of not cool. So I'm gonna do this grayish color. I think that looks good. And now that I have my text in, what's cool about this is since it's grease pencil, I can I can do lots of cool stuff. So this is all points. Like I can move points, I can do whatever I want. So, for example, I can distort the entire thing using proportional editing. So, yeah, this it kind of gives you some more stuff to do. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go modifier settings. And I'm going to add the modifier. And this modifier, it's going to be noise. It's going to start distorting the text. And 0 0.5 is a lot. <laughs> so, we're going to turn this down to like, mm, I think 9 is okay. Just need to make sure it's not too much. I think I like 10, 11. Anyways, so all we care about is the position. That's like the strength of the noise. And then the only other thing we care about is noise scale, which you can see distorts it based on some noise texture. And you can change the scale of that noise texture. So I like to do a smaller noise texture just so it's less detail all over the place. And now you kind of turn it down a little bit more. I think the secret to this effect is having it subtle. I think I like it better subtle. So there we go, we kind of have some distorted text, and we could we could stop here, and it would look fine, but we're going to take this further. We're going to make some really cool looking freaking text. Okay, so we have our grease pencil right here. We're going to hit Shift D, which duplicates, and then we hit right click so it resets its position. And then I'm going to go over to the material on this, and I want to edit the material, except the issue is if I edit the material, it's going to affect this other grease pencil's material. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to hide it so I can so I can actually see my changes that I do to this one. And to make some changes to this, I need to make sure I make a duplicate so it doesn't affect the original. So I'm going to hit the 2 button, which apparently is a duplicate button. I don't know who created Blender, but that's what it, that's what it is. And instead of fill, we're going to go stroke. And you can see the stroke size is itty bitty, way too small. So to fix this, I'm going to go to my grease pencil settings, which is right here. You want to go all the way down the strokes right here. And once you're all the way down to the strokes tab, you want to turn up the thickness scale. I think 30. 30 is pretty good. I think that that's the max. So 
<laughs> gonna sit with 30, that sounds good. And you can see where we have a problem. The E, it did not do the stroke around it. And that's because of our holdout shader. And we can fix this once we make another duplicate of this material, material 01, which is our holdout. We make a duplicate, and then all I can do is I can set, instead of fill, I set the stroke, and we're good to go. Technically, you could just use this one, but yeah. <laughs> now, you can see when I turn on the other material, they're different colors, and I don't know, maybe if you want a black outline, that works for you, but I want to have them the same color, so I'm gonna copy the space color right here, and then I'm gonna hide this again. I'm gonna open up this one now, and I'm gonna copy and paste my hex code to affect both this material and this material. So now they're the same. And yeah, we kind of have the same color. And you can see sometimes um, they 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 leave some sp white space, which I thought looked kind of cool, but it's not happening nearly enough. So we can go back to our, our uh, what's it called? Just, just click right here. I can't remember what this was called. Anyways, uh, turn on the strokes to like, mm, 25. I don't know. You can change the size how, how much you want so you can actually see the gaps between the text. I think that looks pretty good. The other thing you might want to do is in this grease pencil, we go to our modifiers. You might want to change the seed just so they're different noise seeds. So it affects them differently. That looks pretty good. And the cool thing about this is if we go to the zero frame, you can scale things up and you kind of have this cool looking effect. Now, obviously it's not that you have to change the text size. You can't really match them up perfectly, but that looks way cool. And you can, you can also do some other cool things. Like I can, if I undo that, you, you can make a duplicate and then you can put it on the Z axis. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Duplicate, uh, Z axis. Okay, there we go. And now we have like, this this full bold text and then you have the stroke text which is kind of it's kind of the style right now so i think this this is really cool so anyways have a lot of fun with this you could do a lot with grease pencil it's way cool i think it's underrated in blender and yeah if you're interested the full project file is on my patreon and yeah see you guys later